Hey, how's it going? This is Derek Steinbacher, and I'd like to discuss your post-operative rhinoplasty course today. So first off, you will have a splint in place that we put on post-operatively. There will be no packing, and there will be a couple tubes inside the nose that keep the septum straight, but you'll be able to breathe through these if you can keep them clean. There can be a variable amount of bruising postoperatively, and we take steps to try to minimize or avoid this. Steps so that there's no nausea and vomiting, but we want you to avoid strenuous lifting or exercise. No hanging the head low. Also, applying ice, especially to the lower eyelids, is helpful. We like and recommend using green tea bags, steeping these, and then keeping several in the freezer, placing them to the lower eyelids. There's also a few dietary and topical considerations. Pineapple juice has an enzyme bromelain that seems to block and lessen bruising. Arnica as well is an herbal supplement that you can place topically in the lower eyelids as well as dissolve a tablet under the tongue. And doing all these things leading up to and after surgery has a positive effect. Vitamin K ointment on the lower eyelids after surgery too will help limit or lessen bruising. In terms of medications and keeping the area clean, we want no water on or underneath the splint because we want this to stay in place. We would like for you to clean the nostrils in the area of blue sutures. In doing this, we like for you to use a Q-tip with hydrogen peroxide or soap and water and gently curl this back and forth to clean any debris, as shown here on this gag gift pillow of, with my rendering. We also will give you nasal sprays. We'll give you either Afrin or Neosinephrine, and would like for you to use two sprays per nostril three to four times per day, stopping after the third day. Additionally, we'll give you a saline nasal spray frequently ocean spray, nasal spray. For this, please use it four times per day in each nostril and continue this until we see you. A few other things to consider. Please keep your head elevated while sleeping on two to three pillows. Take it easy, as mentioned, no exercise. Glasses are okay while the splint is in place, but once we remove the splint, no glasses for at least four to five weeks, and this includes sunglasses. Flying is okay. If you're traveling for surgery, you may want to stay nearby for one day postoperatively, depending on the time we finish the case. If you are more local or regional and flying at some point postoperatively, that's fine too. We may just want to give you some Sudafed to help with any ear or sinus pressure before and during the flight. We typically will see you back at about seven to 10 days following surgery, at which point we will remove the splint tubes and sutures. This image shows a young woman at about the eight day post-op mark, just having those things removed. We actually studied over a hundred of my own patients and showed looking at edema or swelling that 70% of it goes down by about four to six weeks postoperative. But the remaining 30% takes the better part of a year to completely go away. And these images are from our study showing at various time points how the nose takes shape as the edema comes down with time. So we'll finish off this short video just showing a couple postoperative results. This is about one year postoperative and showing that when you adhere to the recommendations that we describe, this will help your recovery go smoothly and we can both look forward to your final results. Remember, every case is different and please discuss with us in person for any specific situation and contact us anytime during your recovery phase. See you soon and looking forward to your results in your rhinoplasty. This is Derek Steinbacher.